I'm going to show you how you can you can transfer a specific range of cells from Excel to a PowerPoint presentation. Now you want to send this to a PowerPoint presentation that you already have set up. You uh, you don't want to start a new one because you've already got formatting and everything else done on the one. And for example, this is um, I've done done this previously where I'm showing expiry dates for certifications that you have for your staff, and I have 15 employees here. <clears throat> and this is uh, when it's red, they're going to expire within 60 days, <clears throat> and yellow, they're going to expire within 90 days. Um, and so what I've done is I've written a macro to send this to uh, an existing PowerPoint presentation. So I'll show you the macro, or I'll run the macro to show you how it works. So I said, uh, open PowerPoint and copy certs. So this is my certs sheet, and I'm going to run. <clears throat> And so this is my my so this is my PowerPoint presentation and it's for a safety meeting and so this is my first one and let's click to the second one and here's your here's your your chart of when your employees certifications are going to expire and so let's just see what it looks like in a PowerPoint presentation. And there you go. You get you get a great view of who's expiring and when they have to start working on what they need to renew in their <clears throat> in their certs. And so now what I'll do is I'll show you the code. <clears throat> so this is what my code looks like. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to show you is I had problems with this, so I'll show you be so you don't have problems with this. So we go to tools and references. And you have to add in the Microsoft PowerPoint object library. And you just have to scroll down. It's all in alphabetical order. And so it's somewhere down under the M's, you'll find it. So you check you check that box and then you say okay to keep it. And then then this code will run in Excel. Okay, so what I'm saying is um, this is a PowerPoint slide, PowerPoint application, PowerPoint presentation, and my shapes. My shapes is what we're copying from, um, from the Excel to there. And so what I'm doing is I'm setting PowerPoint equals new PowerPoint application, set PowerPoint presentation to PowerPoint presentation open, and then I'm giving it the file, the file name. And that's this is the path and then the file name. And so how I got that path is, this is where I've got it. And so what I've done is I've just clicked here and copied this um, from the, the folder that it's in. And that's how you, uh, and you put it in here and you uh, put quotation marks around it. And then I've got read only MSO false. And so now <clears throat> I've copied the range so I've copied from uh, where the marching ants are going around and I've copied it and then I've set my shapes equal PowerPoint presentation slide two because I don't want it on the title slide. And then I say say shapes and I say paste special. Now my shapes, which I've defined up here as an object, this this allows me to make changes to it. If you don't um, if you don't do this, you're your chart would be probably unreadable because it would be so small. And so I've set the left to be 15 and the top to be 15 and the height to be 500 and the width to be 600. And then I go end width and end sub. <clears throat> I will, of course, include all of this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.